Welcome back to Quality Street. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff, and today I am reviewing Quality Street. Well, reviewing it again, sort of. This is part two. Yes, a part two. Um, this is a review of such a big box of chocolates I decided to split it into two parts. So if you are just here at part two for some reason without seeing part one, click the link right there to go and watch the big part one. Maybe, maybe, but maybe you don't want to watch that. I don't know. Maybe you, uh, maybe you don't like all the talky talk that I do. Maybe you just want to hear, uh, get down to the meat of it and hear, hear that score at the end. So I don't know. If that's the case, welcome to part two. This is a review of Nestle's Quality Street box of chocolates. It's a big box of chocolates. They got 12 of them, different varieties in them. I've already done a bunch of them here. And uh, overall impression, aces. <laughs> so let's keep going and uh, jump through some more of these uh, chocolate hoops with our continued Quality Street review. I'd say so far of the ones I reviewed, the fudge is the best. Um, Oh, although, what was that? Was it the fudge? Yeah, that was the fudge. Um, so let's go in with the red one. Now, what's this red one all about? This red one is, oh my goodness me, the Strawberry Delight. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Now, what are the takeaways from this, you think? Maybe you'll at least know, oh my god, that smells so good. You'll know which chocolates of the quality streets are ones to get when you see a box. That's a little weird. Da, 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 a little dotting on the top. They do take time. I mean, all of these, as I was saying in the last section, have their, um, you know, someone's taking care to design these all carefully. Mm. Oh my god. The cream in that is so good. Strawberry sweet. Just delicious. This is a fantastic. Like, I gotta say, my personal preference in terms of, like, box chocolates, I always go for the cream chocolates. What do you guys like best? You guys like the nutty ones? You go for the toffees? No one goes for the toffees, do they? No. You go for the cream ones. That's what I do, at least. Anyway, this is great. This is perhaps my favorite. I'm so good. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Let's do it. Let's do this one now. This is the, um, what's it called? This is the toffee finger. Yeah. This one and the penny, the toffee penny there, are like, every time I've ever seen a box of Quality Street chocolates, they are the last ones to uh, to go. And look, like, I think it's not that the toffee is bad, but like with that other toffee one, the Toffee Deluxe, it seems a bit hard. Maybe now that I'm like, you know, concentrating on it for a review, maybe I'll see it as something different. Um, let me see, like, what's the difference between that one and this one, and that one, for that matter? Oh. It's like they're trying to punish me with toffee. It's like, it's still good toffee, it's just... So much flipping work to eat it. It's tasty. It's just I gotta I gotta chew chew chew. Let's get this one out of the way too. I just gotta chew so much to get through that toffee. That tastes no different to me than the toffee deluxe. I can't tell what the difference is. Oh, and still stuck to the wrapper. If you're watching the other video, I was saying. These had a tendency to get stuck to the wrapper, and so they um, they put this extra bit of foil in to help it. Hmm. Hmm. Quality Street. All right. So this is just like, seriously, like, I mean, it's called the Toffee Penny. It's a straight-up penny. For me, it's a bit odd because here in Canada, they actually recently discontinued the pennies. So we don't have pennies anymore, which is a good thing. 
do they have pennies in um in the uk still i think they do i don't know mm. <laughs> so much effort look it's a good toffee i'm not gonna say it's not i'm not gonna say it doesn't taste good it tastes good but I gotta work so so hard. Every one of these toffee things. Nope, not having it. Toffee, Quality Street. You can take your toffees and go away with them. Okay. This is the. What is this? Here it is. Uh, the orange cream. Let's do something a little bit better. A little bit more my speed. Look, I, I like toffee. I do. I really do. Oh, this one's a dark chocolate too, huh? Dark chocolate with orange cream. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about the toffee. My personal preference is to say no on the toffee. <laughs> That's it. Mm. They're thinking here. Orange? Mm. You want the dark chocolate paired with the orange. You do. You got to cut that. You got to cut that 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 uh, citrus. You know, with something. You want something a little more bitter. Um, so, I think that was a that was a solid move on their part. This is really good. The um, mm, super flavorful. Just like the strawberry cream. Um. Very, very well packaged. Very well balanced is the word I would say. Even though it's very strongly flavored, um, for such a bold flavor, it's really well, uh, it's really well combined, you know? All right, blue. What's blue? Let's do this. Coconut eclair. What makes it an eclair, I wonder? I'm... I really don't know what an eclair is, I guess. I mean, other than the, the pastry eclair, right? I don't usually go out of my way to get a coconut, but... Because, you know, I'm not a massive fan of coconut. But let's give it a try. Um, see where we're at. Hmm. So that's all super fine shredded coconut there. What's this on the bottom? I wish I knew. It's something. There's like a, la a like a layer. Can you guys see that? I don't know what it is. There's like a layer of something above the chocolate before the coconut that's like it's like a caramel or something I don't know how to get it how to get at it it's like a thin layer of caramel or toffee or something no, I'm just dropping stuff everywhere all right well uh, if you like coconut you'll probably like this um, although I think that this hard bottom part does not serve it well overall you know, I would rather have a bounty or something. Now let's get to the big two. Um, so this one, the green triangle, this, along with the next one, have both been turned into full bars, actually, in the UK. So at least that's what internet tells me. I'm assuming that that's true. I don't, I don't know. This is just called the green triangle here. I don't... Um, and I was looking on the internet, but I can't recall what actually was inside this. Look at that. That's awesome design work, right? Like, that's like some sort of a cool spaceship or something. I want to throw it like a throwing star. It's pretty rad. I like that. Uh, I really like this design. Very, like, alien or something, right? Or, like, there's a flux capacitor. Anyway. Okay, let's give it a try. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. It's like a like a chocolate cream on the inside. Yeah. It's not um not like a cream cream. It's like How do I describe this? It's not like um like a whipped cream. It's like a chocolate um not nougat. More like a harder sort of a somewhere between a mousse and a nougat consistency. It cuts like butter. That's what it does. It cuts like butter. When you're eating tasting that, it's good. That's very good. Um chocolate with mint. Yeah. A little hint of mint in that, I think. Very good. Definitely like that. Um, I don't know. Would I get a full bar of that? Maybe, yeah. And let's see. The purple one. This is the purple one. This one has a hazelnut in it. So this is the only one with a full real nut in it. Um, I guess this used to be a Brazil nut too, and now it's a hazelnut. Let's give it a whirl. Mmm. Wrapped in caramel, evidently. So there's the nut. That's a whole nut, right? Oh. And there goes the nut. Well, I like that shape. It's nice. Quality Street. Definitely some quality um, stuff in there. Mmm, that purple one's really good too. I could see that being a full bar for sure. For the same kind of crowd that would buy uh, just a milk chocolate bar with a nut with nuts in it. Mm. And hazelnut. Very good. Okay, it's a little bit messy here. Overall, I'm gonna say Quality Street did a fantastic job. Um, this is definitely um, a five out of five, and I'm gonna give it that because there's gonna be something in here for everyone. So my personal picks for the best. Strawberry Delight, Fudge, Orange Cream, mm. and this, um, and the purple one. Those are ones that I would go for. If you see one of these boxes just lying around at someone's house, and it's like, oh, take a Quality Street. Those are ones to go for. Red, purple, orange, or uh, whatever else, you know, or, uh, or the pink. And whatever else maybe struck your fancy from what I was saying here. Um, but Quality Street is really good stuff. So Walking Candy Isle definitely is going to give it a 5 out of 5. Because you're going to find something you want in here. Um, I hope you get a chance to try Quality Street. And I hope you like it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this extended two-part review. I appreciate it. Click the links that you see on the screen. As always, please subscribe. Like this video. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you, uh, what you like, what you don't like about Quality Street. And... Um, I really appreciate it. Happy holidays, of course, and thank you once again for watching. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.